In this lesson, we're going to learn about circles and their graphs. So we're going to first start off by talking about the circle equation and graphing circles. So whenever you graph a circle, similar to when you graph a line, there's always two things you need to know. When you graph a line, you need to know where to start the line, and then you need to know the slope so you know how to move from that starting point. When you graph a circle, your starting point is going to be the center, and then the radius tells you how far to move from that center in all directions. So that's kind of the idea of a graph. How, when you actually go to um, do this, you'll be given an equation. So you have to know what the circle equation is. So that's the first thing. So here, um, right here is your circle equation. Notice that you have x's and y's. So you're going to have an x and a y. The h and the k are going to be numbers. Those represent the center point. So the center point, if you look, these are both positive, and in the equation they're both negative. So all that means is they're always going to be opposite signs. So if they're positive, the sun, if the positive has center has positive coordinates, then in the equation they're going to be negative. And then for the radius, it's r squared in the equation, which means you have to square root to actually get the radius, the length of the radius. So the question is, where does this formula come from? So maybe it looks a little familiar to you. There's really two formulas that you've seen that are similar to this. One of them being the distance formula. Imagine if I square rooted both sides. What would happen, I would have r equals the square root of the change in x squared plus the change in y squared. So you've seen that, also known as distance formula. So that's one of the places that it looks like. Um, so the length of the radius is equal to the square root of the change in x squared plus the change in y squared. The other place that this comes from is the Pythagorean theorem. And if you remember, distance formula really comes from Pythagorean theorem. So really where this all comes from is the Pythagorean theorem. So Pythagorean theorem is your a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So if you look, this right here represents the a. So if I look in my picture, the a would be the change in x's. So this change right here, the horizontal change, So the horizontal change is subtracting your x values. So if you imagine this x value right here is the same as up top here, so that's going to be an x. And then minus whatever this x value is. So in this case, it's an h. And then your vertical change is this distance. So this is the vertical change. So that would mean take this y value and subtract off this y value here, which this y value is going to be k. So it's on the same horizontal line. So this one would be y minus k. So, and then the radius is the hypotenuse. So this is your right triangle. So if you imagine finding an equation that relates these, well, you could use Pythagorean theorem. So the horizontal change would be this. So it would be x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals the hypotenuse squared, which in this case is the radius. So that's really where it comes from. So you could, it came from this triangle. Let me just enlarge the triangle. So you have r here, this was x minus h, the horizontal change, and this was y minus k, which is the vertical change. So now let's look at how do we actually use this equation. So for example, two, it says given a circle with the equation um, x plus 3 quantity squared plus y minus 6 quantity squared equals 24, what are the coordinates of the center and the length of the radius? So if you remember, the center, you always use the opposite sign. So the nice thing about the way that this is set up is that the x value is always next to the x and the y value is always next to the y. So really, you just have to switch them. So instead of positive 3, it'll be negative 3. Instead of negative 6, it's positive 6. And then for the radius, you have to square root the number at the end. Because if you think about it, this was a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I want to know what c is, which means I have to take the square root of that. 
And then I can break this one down. So I have my biggest perfect square that's going to go into 24 is 4. 4 times 6 gives me 24. Square root of 4 is going to be 2. So 2 radical 6. That would be my radius. The next example says write the equation. So now they're giving us the center. So the center here is the origin, which remember just means 0 comma 0. And the radius is 2 comma radical 3. So if we go to actually plug into our formula here, we have x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. So remember what we do for the signs here. We do opposite signs. Well, when it's a negative or when it's a zero, positive or minus doesn't really matter. So if I put minus zero, minus zero, my radius is this entire quantity squared. So what happens is x minus zero is just going to be x squared. Y minus zero will just be y squared with a plus between them. And then when you put that quantity on and you square it, it's going to be, this becomes 4 times 3, because when you square the square root, it just cancels. So 4 times 3, so we end up with 12 for that. So here's my equation. Now it might be worth making a note that when we're centered at the origin, look at what happens. Those numbers drop, and it's just x squared plus y squared. So any time, so this might be worth writing down, um, any time you have an equation that's centered at the origin, your equation is just going to be x squared plus r squared equals 12. So when you're centered on four circles, centered at 0, 0, use x squared plus y squared equals r squared. It's not wrong to plug in the point, but it's just quicker to say, well, if you subtract 0 or add 0 from x and y, it's not going to do anything. So really, you could just jump right to saying, well, it's x squared plus y squared. And then your radius, you still have to square that. So then the last example here is, well, what happens now if we're given a graph and we have to come up with the equation? So the last example, they gave you the information. This one, they're giving you a picture, and you have to first come up with the information, the radius and the center. So when I look at this, you want to look at the furthest point up here to the furthest point down here. So that goes from 5 to negative 5. So that means the whole thing is 10. So the center is going to occur halfway between those. So the center is going to be right at 0, 0. And if you look, same thing from this direction. From negative 5 to 5, 10, so the center is at 0, 0. So the center is at 0, 0. And then the radius, you just count wherever you can. So let's say you couldn't count. Let's say the point was over here. Then you could just use distance formula to go from the center to a point on the circle. But if you look, since this one, I can actually count this radius. I can just... I don't have to use distance formula. So it's just five units. You could have measured that any of those um, radii. So any of them would have been fine. So my radius is five. So when I go to write the equation, it's going to be x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So my center is zero, zero. So that's why I'm just going to use x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So x squared plus y squared equals five squared. So then x plus y squared equals 25. So there's my equation. Now remember, you could have used the original one with the x minus h and then y minus k. The reason why I didn't is because my center was at the origin. So I just went right to x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared. So go ahead and try the practice problems or the check your understanding page. And just remember, you have your two equations. When your center is h comma k, that's when you have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And then you have this shortcut when the center is at the origin. So go ahead and attempt those problems on the next page.